Hey guys, Julie, how are you? Thank you for being here. I'm your intuitive healer for your life and business, uh, animal communicator, um, a lot. I do a lot of things, right? Medicine woman, shaman. Um, I am here to basically be your channeler, be your person that helps you understand your gifts and what you can do with your gifts and help you overcome challenges that you're living in. Uh, in as a life path master number 11. So thank you for being here. Thank you for um, listening to my videos, watching them. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, liking your comments as well, because I read everyone and I respond to each of them as much as I can. And I'm thrilled that you're here. So thank you and welcome to the family today. Um, today, I'm excited. Actually, it's nighttime out while I'm doing this, but uh, it's Easter. So this will go up the next day. So happy Easter, you guys. I hope you guys had a great Easter. Um, so as you know, around here, we go by life path numbers. We don't do astrological zodiac signs. You are a master life path number 11. There are three master numbers. There's 11, 22, and 33. That's it. A master number means that you haven't reincarnated more than any of the other numbers, which means that you're a master at something for the life path 11s. We are teachers. Um, I'll go into what we are just really briefly. Again, if you haven't seen any of the other videos, um, to get your life path number, you should watch one of the videos. I'll link it, but it's just basically your birthday. So the day, the month, and the year, you add up the numbers, uh, and then bring it down to the lowest number possible. And 11 is a master number for sure. Um, just a couple of quick things. If you'd like to donate to the channel, I have a link down below in the description box, which you can donate, which helps me immensely. So that would be really welcome. So thank you as well as I do have the course starting on next Monday, April 12th, which is gonna be four weeks with me and you're going to learn what your gifts are, um, how to use two of your gifts, cause you might have 20 of them, uh, and then bringing you into alignment and finding your soul's mission and purpose here on earth. So this is gonna be a lot of time with me one-on-one -on -one, and there will be homework and there's three or four bonuses as well. So it's gonna be super fun. I'm really excited about it. Check it out, the link will be below and let's get into it. So for Life Path 11, master number, you are an illuminator. As you know, we are the most intuitive of all the numbers. We are optimistic, creative, inspiring. We're natural empaths, obviously, profound thinkers. Um, our soul's purpose is to bring love and balance and harmony through the works that we create. Uh, we are great healers, writers, light workers. Um, some of the shadow stuff that we encounter is we often feel very out of place. We feel like we don't belong here, even on planet Earth. Um, we have very high, unrealistic expectations of ourselves and others, which can come and bite us in the butt. Um, we get frustrated easily and we can be very uh, impractical and daydream a lot. So those can be things that can really harm us. We walk the edge between self-destruction and greatness, right? Um, but that's just the way we are. We are, we are very empathic people. We feel everything, um, but we also have very high expectations of ourselves and others, which hurts us a lot because if you don't respond to or meet our expectations then we get upset um, and we do this with ourselves all the time, we demean ourselves um, and it doesn't serve us at all. So I would definitely ask you to look at how you're talking to yourself and how you're treating yourself. Um, what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to give you a channeled message that um, I think that would be helpful for you. Then I'm going to, I've already called in my team, but we'll do that again. I'll give you another channel message. Hopefully this message will resonate with you. It's a channel message for the collective. If it does, great. If it doesn't, don't make it fit for you. If it doesn't fit, hopefully the next one will, but hopefully you'll get something out of this. And then we will look at your challenges, which this uh, animal cards will help us with because they'll loan you their attributes. And then we'll also look at some guidance from the stars, from the, um, from the stars, from the moon, from the galaxy and all that fun stuff. So I'm excited. Okay, so for today's guidance, this is what I have for you. You see yourself as slow of mind, you are not. You are strong, powerful and just. Begin to see how you really look and also release your ego. The need to be right, the need to control must be turned over to spirit. You say you are humble, but you have many strongholds in your mind about the way things should be and the way the world should look. Yet it does not look like the picture in your mind, which causes you much unhappiness. 
You know, the way your business should look is not realistic. The way you think that things should be, and it does, it's not that way. Remember, anytime you are working with the word should, you are an ego, right? Move into alignment by asking about how could this be fun? How could this be in alignment? How great could this be for all? Release your expectations and your need to control. You still think that if you do A and B, you'll get C, and that's not the case. You are an individual, right? So begin putting in work out there. Begin, I'm sorry, begin putting your work out there and you will see rapid change. Ground yourself, you know, lean onto me and my words, surrender more. And it is not you against the world. Let me show you a new way. All right. This was profound for me when I received this. Um, sorry, my cat's playing with something and now she's taking something and I don't know what she did with it. Um, you see yourself as slow of mind. You are not. You are strong, powerful, and just. Begin to see how you really look and also release your ego. The need to be right, the need to control must be turned over to higher power. You say you are humble, yet you have many strongholds in your mind about the way things should be and the way things should look. Yet it does not look like the picture in your mind, which causes you much unhappiness. This is, I think, so much of what is hard for us. Um, we want things to be a certain way because we have high expectations and we know that we can make changes. And a lot, the thing that I'm coming to realize is that you can only control yourself. You can't control others. And that's a hard realization when you've always gone around thinking you can control so much and you can't. Um, you know, there's a lot of injustices in the world that really hurt us as empaths. And we find a lot of hurt and betrayal, abandonment um, in our own lives. We have family that doesn't understand us. And that's very hurtful because we're empathic, because we're different. And so many of you think that, that what you have is a curse, but in reality, it's a gift. I believe the same thing for years. It took me a long time. It took me decades to realize that the shit that I'm working with is a gift, not a freaking curse. And I want you to get to that place. And it's all in the way that you shift your perspective and look at your gifts and look at what you have. And it's also because when you let your gifts out and your family saw them or somebody close to you saw them and they demeaned you or belittled you and you shut down, that was one person's take on what you can do. Another person can see what you do and will think it's amazing and pay you highly, handsomely for that information, like I'm giving you now, which is all channeling, right? Um, what you have inside you is a gift. You have the light inside of you, your divine being. You have a spark of spirit within you and you're living in this body in the 3D world, but you are a divine being. You have infinite and limitless capabilities infinite and limitless capabilities. But the thing is that some of us are so rigid with the way that we talk to ourselves, the ego that we have and the expectations that we have. And it really screws us up. It trips us up all the time. But you've got to learn and understand that what you have within you is a gift. People do not feel what we feel on any level. They don't see what we see and therefore they don't understand things the way we do on many, many levels. We're very deep. We're not surface level at all. Um, surface level bores us, makes us tired. We don't, I don't do surface level at all. I don't, I just don't, I can't do it. And people that are surface level seem very shallow to me and it's a turnoff. I hate that. You're here to do the work that you do and the mission that you have on your life is because you are a deep person and because of your gifts, the mission that you have, no one else can do. I cannot do your mission. Only you can, and you can't do my mission. So it's all about taking what you have and looking at your gifts and saying, you know what, maybe this is a gift. Maybe I don't know how to work with it and I need to figure it out. Get some help. Let me help you or do some research, right? because what you have within you is beautiful. And 
the people that don't understand it, there will always be people that don't understand your gift. And I would say to you, it's not your job to change them and make them think that you are amazing. I can tell you right now in this day, 2021, people still think that the way that I understand animals and communicate with them, they still poo poo it. They still laugh it off. They still think it's stupid, but there's also a lot of people that do get it and they pay me to do what I can do. And I can talk to, I know what I can do. And you just have to use your gift enough so that you feel confident with it and say, I know what I can do. And it's not ego. I know I can channel. I know I can talk to God. I know I can talk to archangels. I know I can talk to animals and animals that have passed over. I know I can talk to your ancestors because I do it all the time. It's not ego. It's, it's a fact. I can do it. I can do it. And you have to just get to that same place. And it's all about just using your gift, getting comfortable with it. And it's going to feel wobbly in the beginning. It's going to feel awkward, but you can do it. And it's important that you do embrace your gift because your gifts won't go away. They're just going to lay there or stay dormant. Your gifts were there for, for you to use. It's almost like, you know, it's like Thor's hammer, right? He's the only one that could use that thing and pull it out. It's like, it's, it's like Michael Jordan with a basketball, right? Or me with a basketball in his hands. It's a weapon. It's mastery in my hands. Not so much, right? It's the same with your gifts. All right. So I called in all my archangels. I'd like you guys to start calling in your team as well, starting to get to know them. And I'd like to just take a deep breath. We're going to put our, let's just think about your heart and set the intention that your ancestors will come forward so that I can give you a message today, a channel message. So let's do that. So take a deep breath in, let it out and take another deep breath in. I would ask all your ancestors to please come forward to those that are here right now so that they can get messages that they need. What messages do you have for Master Life Path 11, please? Okay. Somebody has ancestors here. A lot of you are saying, please tell her or him to believe in himself or herself. Again, what I was just saying, they're dovetailing on it. They do not know what they have in their hands. You have amazing gifts. Just because they're on the inside doesn't mean they're any less gifted than something that is on the outside that somebody can see quickly, like somebody can draw something or you know, write something or paint something. Transformational gifts start on the inside anyways, right? But you need to believe in yourself and know that you have these gifts and that you are special and that you are different because you are a master number. And they're also telling me, you need to just remember who you are. You've been reincarnated so many times. All you need to do is remember who you are and remember what you used to be because the magic is still within you. If you believe that you're not talented, you're not. If you believe that you're special and talented, you are. If you believe that you are dumb and that you have nothing and nothing's ever going to change and it's too late for you, that will be your story. But I'm telling you right now that even if your knees are on the dirt and even if you're staying at somebody's house, even if you don't have a place to stay of your own and you're on somebody's couch, it's, and even if you're in your 50s, it's never too late or 60s, it's not too late. We tend to think of all the things that have gone wrong in our lives, personally, and professionally, that those were failures and they're only lessons. Did you ever stop to consider that your soul had to go through all of those, those experiences to get you to this point where I'm talking to you right now? Because if, if, if you'd found me five years ago, you probably wouldn't have been ready for me. I wouldn't have been ready for you. I hid my gifts for decades. The reason I do what I do is so that you don't have to suffer like I did. I tried to fit into the corporate world and I did a good job for a while, but I was miserable all the time because I knew I wasn't using my gifts. And you're the same way. You're, you're here to do something magnificent and shine your light in a dying world that needs your light. We need your gifts. 
I need help out here. I can't do this by myself. You guys have to help me, right? But if all of us stands in our power and shines our light, that's going to help everybody else, right? If I shine my light to help you, you'll shine your light to help somebody else, right? And I know it can be scary, but I'll tell you what's even scarier. Working for decades in corporate world or a place that you hate because you value yourself so little, your, your self-worth is shit. You don't think you can do anything. You think it's too late. You think it's over. You're, you're just making some money. You're seeing everybody around you surpass you because they're happy because they're doing what they're supposed to do. And you are not. It's painful. It's so painful. I can't even tell you. It's never too late for you. And you truly have gifts that others would kill for. You just need to shift into a different perspective that they are gifts and that they are something that you can use to help others. That's what it's about. Your ancestors don't play and your ancestors don't want you to walk down the same road they did. They want you to take, take your own road, create your own lane, begin to do your own thing. You are an infinite being of light. There's no one like you. You need to see that within yourself and stop talking to yourself as if you're an idiot and it's too late and I'm stupid and I can't do it because you, you can. It, it may take time. It could be hard. Frankly, it will be hard. There's going to be a lot of tests along the way, but they're lessons, not failures. They're, they're just there to make you grow. That's it. What do the spirit animals have? Um, I got five today. Five is my lucky number. Uh, so this is your challenge. And this is where the spirit animals come in. And they'll loan you their attributes and give you some information. And the first one is armadillo spirit. And it says, set healthy boundaries. Woo, child. All right, listen, this is important. Being an empath, being someone who's so gifted. Many of us in this category, master life number 11, we do not set boundaries because we want to help people. We, um, we can't say no. If you don't set healthy boundaries, people will walk all over you. And there are a lot of people, unfortunately, in this world that think that being an empath and being sensitive and being spiritual makes you weak. That is farthest from the truth that can ever be. You know, being in Master Life Path number 11, you know for a freaking fact that you fight all your battles alone. And you fought battles people couldn't even, couldn't even come to the battle with. I mean, you've done things that they couldn't even imagine. When you set boundaries, you're protecting yourself and you're also giving people the way that you want to be treated and how you want to be treated and that you won't be walked over. It doesn't mean you have to be a bitch and mean, but it just means here's my line in the sand and this is where I'm standing. Okay. You're going to talk to me correctly. You're going to come to me correctly. Okay. Cause I'm not going to take your crap. I'm not doing it. And the more you do this, the happier you'll be. Second one is antelope spirit. And this one's so cool because the antelope is really big and it's running with these really long like horns. And it says life is speeding up. This is so true. You know, in our today's world, right? We live in this world and it's, things happen so fast. What I'm hearing for you is it's counterintuitive, slow down to speed up. For us, our brains hardly ever stop. We lay down at night and our brains go and go and go and we review things that we did and we're like, I should have done this and I should have done that. Give yourself a break and slow down because you wanna make sure that your cup is full so you can help others. If your cup is empty, you can't help anybody but yourself until your cup gets full or at least 50 to 75% full, whether it's more sleep you need, whether it's working out, whether it's better food, whatever it is, whether it's a day off, you need to do it. 
The next one I got is chameleon spirit. Oh, wow. This is so cool. Oh man, this is really cool. So it's a chameleon and he's like a few different colors and he's on this branch and it says, act as if, what did I just say? Act as if. Your brain does not know the difference between real and not real. You know that, right? So if you act as if you have a million dollars in the bank, your brain does not know whether that's true or not. If you act as if, it'll act as if it does. You could literally fool your brain and every day, instead of getting into your Honda, you think you're getting into a Lamborghini and it could believe it. If you act as if your gifts are amazing, which they are, you're talented and you can help so many, which you can, it will be. And chameleon spirit is amazing for us because we show the world what we want them to see, not everything, right? Act as if you are successful, you are happy, you are full of joy, you are just, you're, what you do is a, you're a game changer, you're a life changer. Then dog spirit came out. Kind of reminds me of my Springer Spaniel that passed away, Cookie. And it says, be loyal to what you love. Now notice it didn't say to who you love, it says what you love. And that speaks upon what I just talked about, spending decades in a corporate world. I wasn't loyal to myself. I was self-sabotaging and I was hurting myself, no one else <clears throat> for years because I was doing what I thought everybody wanted me to do. And I was so scared to be who I was that because I thought I'll never be accepted. Nobody will understand me. And all those things that you think you're probably thinking right now about yourself. I can tell you that's all bullshit. People will get you and you will be accepted and you will be loved by people. And they will be so happy that you just shared your gift because you're helping somebody. You're illuminating a path for them. that They can't see for themselves because nobody can see their own crap. Nobody. I can't see my own shit. Nobody can. Be loyal to what you love and do what you love. Be who you are meant to be. Don't waste time like I did in the corporate world trying to be somebody that you're not because you'll never be happy. And the last one's <laughs> Groundhog Spirit. And it says time to let go. And this speaks to me of what can you let go of that's not serving you? What patterns and beliefs do you hold and actions that you're still taking to this day that don't serve you. When I was five years old, a teacher told me, no, you cannot have that. You cannot do that. You are not smart. You are not smart enough. You're stupid. You can't do that. And all my life, my parents told me I could do whatever I wanted. I could be whatever I wanted. And this one teacher screwed me up for years. Now it's, it's not her fault. It's my fault. But what I did was I took it as gospel. And I bet there's somebody out there right now listening to me that's done the same freaking thing. One asshole said something to you and you took it as gospel and you basically shut down and you were like, holy shit, I, I, I can't do that. I can't, I can't, I can't be who I'm supposed to be, but who will I be? I'll be somebody else. Can't do that for too long. Let go of what doesn't serve you. Figure out where your patterns are what you're saying to yourself, the actions that you're taking that do not serve you and change them to serve you. Stack the deck in your favor, not to hurt you, to make you rise. Frame your life so that it works for you. It's your life. You can do this. These are just tools that you need to learn. And for right now, Groundhog Spirit says, look at what's stopping you if it's what you're saying, if it's actions you're taking and change them and don't get mad at yourself. Don't judge it. Just notice when you're saying, oh, I'm not smart enough to do that. Just notice that and be like, oh, wait a minute. Yes, I am. I got this. I can do this. doesn't matter how, but I can do this. Be loyal to what you love. Act as if life is speeding up. Slow down to refill your cup and set healthy boundaries. All right, so what do we have from our friends in the sky? 
You guys know how much I love the moon and the galaxy because it's insane. I talk to the moon all the time. You guys should too. And Mars. Um, so we have Cyrus. Glasses off. God's sakes. Star of the Nile. Spiritual awakening, healing from the ascended masters. If you're listening to me, it is a full, like bright star. And then it's uh, got the ocean, the whale tail in the background spiritual awakening, healing from ascended masters. Amazing. You are an ascended master. You just don't realize it and see yourself as if you, as what you are, you, that is what you are. Do you see the difference in I'm an idiot to I'm an ascended master or I'm on my way to being an ascended master. Do you see the difference in power and how that makes you feel like from I know nothing to I'm going to send a master or I'm on my way to being a send a master. I may not have all of it yet, but I'm on my way. That's power. Don't give your power away. That's hard one. This one came out before for another sign. Wow, wants to play again today. Coxa, C-O-X-A, anointed one says, prophecy, charismatic leader, sorrow and love, shameless and mean. This to me, it shows a lion. This to me, is two sides of the coin. One side, prophecy, charismatic leader, that's what you are. The other side, when you don't believe in yourself, sorrow and love, loss, shameless and mean. Because we get very unhappy when we fail, when our expectations are not met. We get very unhappy with ourselves and others. Which side of the coin do you wanna be on? If you've been on the side that's shameless and sorrowful and mean, and you want to get to the other side, you've got to start changing your beliefs, your patterns, what you say to yourself and be positive. Because that's other side is a charismatic leader and prophecy. Like you're, you're, you're it, you're a prophet. Do you understand that? You're an ascended master. And if you're not, you're on your way to be, that's cool. For the moon, you got two, you got hunter moon. Oh, wow, this is cool. And it shows a big moon and it shows a jaguar looking up at the moon and it says courage to pursue your dreams. This is gonna take courage. Changing your beliefs, changing your patterns is gonna take courage, but you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it because I was the scared bunny. And I might seem confident, but, I, but trust me, for a lot of years, I wasn't. I was hiding from who I was because I couldn't accept myself because I had low self-worth because I'd failed so many times and I kept getting older and thinking it's never going to happen. But God, spirit, the universe will not give up on you. Your, your team will not give up on you. That's why it's so important to con connect with them. Courage to pursue your dreams. What do you have to lose? You do not get a second chance at life. You do not. This is it. So if you're 55 or 65 or 35 or 25, I don't care. It's never too late. Uh, Warren Buffett started making his money in his 50s, right? Hello. Take the courage that you have. You're a master number. You're reincarnated more than anybody else. You can do this. Take your life by the balls, okay? Take the reins, get some courage, and start pursuing your dreams. And then you got frost moon. And this says reflect, revisit, harvest, educate, and step into your power. Again, you got another one. Courage to pursue your dreams, step into your power. And it shows a frost moon and then um, a plant kind of like not wilted, but kind of icy, waiting for the sun to come out. Reflect, revisit, harvest. When you reflect and revisit on what you've done and focus on your harvest, hold your vision for what you want to happen. You plant a seed, it doesn't happen in a harvest the next day. It takes time. Educate yourself, evaluate yourself, elevate yourself, step into your power. Super, oh, this is awesome. Then you got Horus for your um, Egyptian planet, sun and the moon. And it says optimistic, charming, determined. We've gotten him before, I believe. He likes to play. You are optimistic, charming, and determined. You guys are determined as fuck. I am. I never give up. I have days, yeah, where I want to give up, but the next day I'm, I'm back at it. And that's just being a human, but I have an unbreakable heart. 
It's a secret. I'm not supposed to tell anybody that. But I told you guys because you're my you're my people. And I think you guys have the same thing because you wouldn't be here listening to me if if you didn't think that you could actually make change for yourself and change the world. Um, for your messages from the universe, you got meteorites and it says create new ideas or beliefs. What I just say about beliefs, spiritual insights, beauty rising from the ashes. This is Phoenix. This is Phoenix. It shows meteors around a castle. This is Phoenix, Phoenix rising. This is what we are. This is what we do. We create new ideas or beliefs, spiritual insights, beauty rising from the ashes. This is who we are. We don't play. Here's your choice. Do you want to be sitting on the sidelines forever, complaining and saying, I couldn't do this and I couldn't do that? Or do you want to actually be in the game, making changes, being like a change maker, changing lives, changing your own life along the way? Beauty rising from the ashes. Create new ideas or beliefs. Lose that old programming. Align yourself spiritually. You'll get spiritual insights. And last but not least, we got Uranus, which is your planet. And it says change, evolution, freedom, and growth. Looks like Jupiter to me. Hmm. Doesn't Jupiter have the ring around it? Because Uranus has a ring around it, this word. It says change, evolution, freedom, and growth. Freedom brings growth. And growth brings freedom. And you have all this within you. So I hope this resonated for you guys. You know how much I love you. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe. I love you all so, so much. Um, definitely keep commenting because I love hearing from you. Check out the course below. Um, if you would like a personal reading for yourself or a loved one or an energy healing, there's a link below. If you'd like an animal reading, link below. And remember, guys, I love you all. You guys can totally do this. If I can do this, you can do this. It may take time. It may take steps. It may take preparation, but you can get there. And you guys are limitless. All right. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much. Take care.